both physical scientists and engineers have been involved in cancer research for half a century. So we are very thrilled that AACR is sponsoring the very first meeting on this topic, uh, that is engineering and physical sciences in oncology. There are going to be uh, multiple key topics. One of them is going to be the physical microenvironment of the tumor. Another is the area of drug delivery, not only of the conventional drugs, but to deliver these new, new agents uh, which are being developed. The third area will be imaging, where we'll see the cutting edge molecular imaging uh, methods, how they're going to be applied, and looking at metabolism of tumors, for example. Another area will be microfluidics, to mimic tumors in vitro outside so we can do rapid drug screening or understand specific aspects of cancer biology or response to therapy. So these are some of the areas. And we've been very fortunate that the leaders and pioneers in each of these areas will be present at this meeting. I don't remember a time when so many things were moving forward so rapidly in terms of understanding of basic biology of cancer, but also in terms of drug approval. My thinking is that the next wave of approval would be facilitated and accelerated by the involvement of engineers and physical scientists. For example, uh, how do you deliver these drugs more effectively, more selectively? How do you make the physical microenvironment of the tumor so that it makes the tumor microenvironment from immunosuppressive to immunostimulatory so that the immune therapies can work better? For example, pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, which is one of the hardest to treat tumor, blood vessels are compressed by the tumor. So 80% of the blood vessels in these tumors are not functional. They are there, but they are squished by the tumor. So if you can learn to open them, then we can bring in drugs, we can bring oxygen, we can bring immunotherapeutics. So I will present some of this work uh, from our laboratory, where not only have, I'll present the basic work, but also how we have taken some of this work from bench to bedside. We've been very fortunate that three program leaders from the National Cancer Institute and one program leader from the National Science Foundation, they will be here and there's a whole session on how to secure funds from these agencies to do research at this interface of physical sciences and oncology. So from that point of view, I think the young investigators will benefit tremendously. What is even more important is that the program directors of these four program directors who are attending this meeting have made time available to help young people, to talk to young people about applying for how they can apply and secure funding through different programs. Dr. Joan Brugge and Dr. Bob Langer and I decided that we wanted the best science to be presented at this meeting. And one approach we have pursued is knowledge invite the established pioneers, leaders in the field. But we have also, we got, in almost every session, we have one or two slots where we're gonna choose the best abstracts in that particular theme and ask these young people or senior people to present their work as a, on the platform presentation. And this way, I think uh, they will, the, the young people have a chance to shine, to present their work in front of this uh, a large audience or august audience, I would say, of people who are leaders in the field. I think young investigators will benefit immensely from attending this meeting. They'll get to interact not only with their peers, but with also the leaders in the field. So I remember my own beginning of my career about 40 years ago, when I was a, prof a graduate student, a PhD student in chemical engineering, I attended the very first AACR annual meeting in Washington, D.C. And I'll never forget it because it made quite an impression on me. And it actually convinced me to move from chemical engineering to cancer research. And I have the feeling that some of the young people may be equally influenced by this meeting.